are going to turn to some economic news now and on the nation's trade front Korea's current account surplus actually contracted in 2016 from the year before uh, this was due mainly to a decline in oil prices and it could shrink further as the country has vowed to narrow its surplus over concerns it could be labelled a currency manipulator. Kim Min-ji with the details. Korea's current account surplus narrowed last year. According to preliminary data from the Bank of Korea, the country logged a surplus of nearly 98.7 billion U.S. dollars. That's down about 6 percent from a year earlier and is the second biggest surplus after the record $105.9 billion posted in 2015. The current account is the clearest measure of cross-border trade. Last year's figure was driven by a strong goods account surplus, which came to over $120 billion. This was due mainly to a recovery in trade conditions on weak global oil prices. Exports fell 5.7% in 2016 from the year before, while imports were down 7%. However, the service balance remained in the red, posting a record high deficit of $17.6 billion, pulled down by losses in the transportation and travel balances. The central bank data comes after Korea's finance minister Yuido said Thursday that the country would narrow its current account surplus, apparently out of concern that Korea could be labeled a currency manipulator. Minister Yu told reporters the concerns could be eliminated if the surplus ratio were to shrink. Recently, U.S. President Donald Trump said Japan and China were playing the money market, essentially labeling them as currency manipulators, which raised concerns that Korea could be next on the list. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.